Hello and welcome back to SF Giants Recap. And in this series, the Giants will be facing against the New York Mets. And we have uh, interesting pitching matchups coming up. And so I'm going to do a series prediction on this uh, series against the Mets. Because I will not be able to do the recap for today's game. And maybe not even tomorrow's because I have baseball. And so in today's game, it is the Giants versus Mets as I said. Giants are 80 and 44, Mets are 61 and 63. They are struggling, but the Giants keep up their historic pace and so on the mound for the Giants today will be Sammy Long. He is one and one with a 5.72 ERA with 31 strikeouts in the major leagues. He is a rookie, I'm pretty sure. And then t Tyler Miguel or Michael is a 1 and 2 record, 3.21 ERA and 60 Ks, and so they have a comparable numbers except for the ERAs, but um, the Giants, they need to put up a ton of offense in this game because Sammy Long, he is a decent rookie pitcher or like a decent pickup whenever they need someone to pitch on a bullpen day, but he does struggle with the long ball and his command with his curveball, but other than that, he can be a very dominant pitcher. And so we'll see what he can do in the first game. But if what's going to be key in this first game is offense. Whichever offense shows up wins the game. I don't really think pitching is going to be a big deal because both of these pitchers are not the greatest. And so we'll see how this holds up against good offenses because they because the Mets pitching has been really good, but their offense has been horrific. And so we'll go on to game two. And that will be between Johnny Cueto and Taiwan Walker. Taiwan Walker did really well in the beginning of the season. But now he's kind of gone downhill. He has a 3.86 ERA, 114 strikeouts, 7-8 record. Johnny Cueto has a 7-6 record, 3.89 ERA with 92 strikeouts. So also very comparable numbers. We'll see. I think this one is going to be the opposite. Instead of offense, it's going to be whichever starting pitcher can dominate the most, and whichever bullpen can come in and allow the least amount of runs is going to win the game because offense is going to be key in this game, but I think it's going to come down to which starting pitcher can be the most dominant. And so we'll go on to the third game, and we'll have Alex Wood versus Carlos Carrasco. Carlos Carrasco is 0-2 with an 8.82 ERA. Alex Wood is 10-4 with a 4.11 ERA. And this game... It'll be interesting to see because they're going to both be worn out probably, especially the Mets. The Giants have had a lot of off days as of late, and so we'll see what the Giants do here. And I think uh, Carlos Grasco is not the best pitcher this year. He's been struggling with his ERA. You know, it's up at 8.82, and so that is not a very good ERA right there. But you also have Alex Wood, who is not very consistent and it's also the last day and we'll need a bullpen with Alex Wood so we'll see what happens and so I'll go over my predictions for the scoring I don't really see the Giants winning the first game just because Sammy Long is on the mound and it's also a bullpen day but the Giants bullpen has been dominant so I think it'll be a really close game no matter if it's high or low scoring and so we'll see what will happen with that game I predict the Mets will win that game but then we go on to the next game, and Johnny Cueto, I feel like, is going to come out, out out of the IL and pitch a dominant game. And then in the last game, Carlos Carrasco struggled a ton, and I can see Alex Wood pitching way better and fixing his mistake that he's been making. And so we'll see what happens. So I say Mets will take the first, Giants will take the last two. Um, I really could see the Giants sweeping just because of how on a roll this team has been and how bad the Mets team has been late too so they're both kind of on the opposite sides and so we'll see what happens so if you like this video make sure to subscribe and like and so I'll see you next time for a new SF Giant Recap video